All right, December 6th, part two. Um, this is what it was all about. Uh, I told you I'd put a new carburetor on this thing, put all this stuff up for sale, then decided because of Bob's good advice to keep the snow blower and dump the rest of the stuff. Um, told you Chuck was gonna was going to uh, to scrap it. He ended up taking it home. I think he's going to take it apart and separate the plastic from the aluminum from the metal. Um, you know he's got nothing but time, so that's all good, Chuck. Rock on. Uh, but this thing, I was running everything. I put the stay bill in every, filled everything up, scooter, kid cart, and this here filled everything up. Put the stay bill in it, shook everything up, and then ran everything to let, make sure the stay bill got into the carburetor, right? And this thing, this was the last one to get started and run. And it ran for about, I don't know, two, three, four minutes. And then it's, then it blah, 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 and it died. And I'm, I'm using the, uh, the extension cord, right? Putting a cord on it and using the push button. I haven't even tried to pull this thing. Um, and it, it's, you know, it was, like I said, new carburetor. I bought the new Chinese carburetor off of eBay two years ago, March of 21, I think. Put it on, took it to the storage unit, never even tried to start it. It's brand new, right? It should work. So, um, I don't know, because the tank was empty. I, I put gas in. It already had a little gas in it. I started up, make sure it ran when it got over here. Uh, from, from Roseville via the storage unit. And uh, maybe it got a hunk of dirt or something in it. Uh, with, the, with the carburetor came the, the on-off which wasn't in. I put it on. I had to wire it up because it was leaking. Then I turned the, turned, the, turned the fuel on and the carburetor was overflowed. Just draining right on the ground. So I shut it off, put the cord on it, started it up, let it run for a minute, and then I opened up the fuel cock, right? And, and no gas was coming. So while it was running, maybe you just needed to clear something stuck in the float needle or something. I don't know. But then it started to run like crap and died. And then it, it started up again with a little choke. But I mean, being warmed up, it shouldn't need any choke. Uh, and then it popped and fart and run a little bit. And then it died, and then it, then it was just nin, 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 and it wouldn't run. So I, I got the stand out of the trailer that got all this swapping the cart so it needed to get done anyway. But um, I told my, I told Bob, I'm gonna give this thing one more chance. You see, it's gonna all the sheet metal's got to come off just to get to the carburetor, right? This isn't a, a it's not a lawnmower where the carburetor's just sitting there, right? So. We'll, uh, we'll give this one more go. Um, I shouldn't have to clean a brand new carburetor that hadn't had any gas in it for only maybe maybe two weeks while it's been sitting here. So, um, it's like I told Bob, let's give him get one more chance. It, don't, it doesn't behave itself and, and work and run properly. I'll push it right out to the, to the mailbox or the garbage van and somebody can take it. I don't care. Um, I just don't have time for these headaches. I'm too old for this stuff, right? Taking carburetors on and off all the time, trying to clean them up just to get things to run. Um, so uh, I didn't put the, I think it came with a, an inline filter too, and I don't think I put the filter on because there really wasn't anywhere to put it. There's no room up inside here. We'll when we get this off and I run you through all this, you'll see that there was really nowhere to put a filter other than way over here where we put the on-off valve. We probably could have put it in line right here. Um, and maybe we still will, I don't know. But anything that temperamental, uh, um, not commercial, but uh, a, a regular production-based, regular thing that should run all the time, like a generator or a mini bike or whatever, um, it shouldn't be that temperamental. So, um, like I said, I'm, it's going to get one more chance, and then it's going to the heave all. So, um, we got her up on the stand. Once this is done and out of the way, We'll probably, uh, I don't know what we'll do with the stand. Maybe we'll stick it back in the tray, break it down, put it back in the trailer. Um, would be nice to have it in here to uh, when I get to um, really fitting the seat that, that's going to go in there. I'm going to need to climb in and out of it. Now, on Richie's rolling stand, you've seen me do this before. It's an old, um, like a hos hospital uh, cart or something. And it's really good and sturdy, you know. I got hard wheels on it, so uh, I could literally climb in and out of that, that, that thing when the cart was on that stand. So maybe I'll have Richie bring that thing over, or I'll pick it up when I go over there uh, this weekend, picking up some more little stuff, picking up some sheet metal for the plenum for the heat. Uh, we're gonna, we decided to run our heat underneath the, uh, the mezzanine, just underneath 
uh, the ducting. That way we don't have to go all the way up to the ceiling. It's going to come right through here, six inch hole through here, right straight through. It'll go up and just above the uh, water tanks over to the, the far corner to the plenum over there. So we, we've got everything ordered up on uh, home, homedepot.com. Uh, they'll deliver all this stuff for free. So we just need to get over to Rich's and get us some sheet metal. The, sh the galvanized sheet metal for, for ducting is expensive as all get out, man. Thanks, Joe Biden. Um, like 28 bucks for a, 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 a two foot by, by four foot piece is, is like 30 bucks. It's, and it's paper thin, you know. So we've got an old door skin from the trailer over there. It's a 65 by, by 35, five, three by five. We'll go pick that up. We'll use that. We'll put that to use. Um, we're going to have to buy some five foot long sections of six inch pipe to finish everything off and it's going to end up costing about another 300 bucks to get the proper heat in here. But what we re what we realize is just running the heat at, at like 60 or 65 on the thermostat in the back would bolt these doors open, no fan on, and then running our little K1 heater on, 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 on low or whatever, sitting out here, we turn the stuff on, go in the house, come out an hour later. And at uh, mezzanine height, it was uh, 62 degrees. At about waist high, where, where it is over here, it was on the front of this cabinet, it was still 45 at waist high without, without pushing any heat into this section. So anything we run up in here is probably going to fix it right up. So we're, we're making progress, although it doesn't look like it. We, uh, we feel like we're home. Now look at her sparkling in the lights in here. She's happy. She loves it. And I love having her here. Man, that thing is, that is my pride and joy right there. There is nothing better, Bob, than terminal velocity. He, th he says Daytona, Daytona, I don't take any skill. Listen, until you've gone a buck 40 laying down at Daytona, don't tell me it doesn't take any skill. <laughs> any little movement of the steering wheel, a car moves three feet, you know, and, and that, that is, that is, that's a frightening thing to deal with the first time. You kind of just get used to it, I guess, after a while, you know, uh, uh, having to deal with it. But, um, yeah, that's my pride and joy. I love that thing. And we're hoping, hoping, not would, God willing, you know, if the world doesn't doesn't blow itself up, we'll get to mid-Ohio while there's still good, fresh pavement there. And maybe we'll run that thing next, uh, next June. Who knows? But uh, that's it for the six. Part two, uh, got the stuff in. Eventually, when this is done and gone, the mower is going to go up against the door here. It leaves us all this open area uh, to work on carts. We'll have fabricating cart on that side, uh, just about finished cart over on this side. We're going to get our cabinets up. We're going to move our entertainment center. Uh, we're going to get everything fixed up in the next few weeks. Man, I know what you're thinking. Hang some Christmas lights, right? You, yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll celebrate the birth of our dear Lord. And uh, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Uh, maybe maybe things will turn around out there. I don't know. I, I'm praying for you. God speed. God bless. Love you. Um, it, it's not easy. It's not easy watching what's watching what's going on in the world and still trying to have some hope and some joy. But uh, we're doing the best we can. I hope you are too. Hang in there. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hi, Glenda. Hi, Randy.